created economic activity. A lot of subcontractors and suppliers would have gotten, uh, you know, to contribute to the exercise and earn some money. Individual artisans, general workers, um, you know, and to take uh, a space that before those of us who would pass this way would just see there was, you know, whole set of trees and bush and so forth and so on, and to take it and make it not into a concrete jungle but a nice aesthetic green uh, 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 enterprise right here and, and I think that that is worth uh, uh, your commendation and I think that Tony and his uh, colleagues uh, and partners should take a bow for having done this. Now he did make the point and I want to also reinforce him that this is what we want to see in Barbados. Uh, that people, you know, come off the fence. There are things, there are opportunities here, and there are a lot of opportunities. And it is true that while some of us are reticent, uh, we've seen and will see in the next few months to year uh, a lot of foreign uh, investors who are going to come to Barbados because they've seen opportunities and they're going to come and take those opportunities. And I think our local business people who have been around for a long time should be in the forefront, uh, if not partnering with them, by themselves, uh, in combination, uh, doing projects like this. And I can give the assurance that the government of Barbados will support them uh, wholeheartedly in that particular regard. I know um, that Tony is thinking of other things. I can't tell you what those are at the moment. I will leave him to do that on another occasion. As you can see, there's a lot of investment still taking place in Barbados but it is driven mostly by foreign-owned enterprises. They have confidence in Barbados. So I'm asking the entrepreneurs in Barbados to have confidence in our own economy and, and let's take on some more projects. We certainly plan to do so as soon as we finish this one. I have to say, now that Minister Sinclair is here, that the government has to do its part too. In my opinion, the private sector would be happy to step up to the plate, but the government can do a couple of important things right away, one of which is to put more purchasing power back into the consumer's hands, which will give the business owners the incentive to put, uh, create new businesses and expand the existing ones. And of course, privatization of non-essential or non-core assets that the government of Barbados owns. And I speak here the easiest ones to do, in my opinion, would be the airport and the seaport. And I do believe that there's support within government circles for that position. So I think that I am calling on not only private sector, but also the government to let us try to work together and do some additional things to get this economy rolling again.